Well, hey, Sammy, Marcus, and Jeff and Joe Moody. Um, got a lot of cool uh, action going with your timber frame. So we thought it would be a good day to give you folks an update and let you see where we're at. Uh, it was probably three months ago I sent you some pictures of your rough sawn timber sitting, air drying out in the beautiful sun of the Columbia Valley. Well, all your timber now is in the facility and we've got a little bit going on everywhere. So I'm gonna sort of take you through and hopefully you find it enjoyable. The last of the plain material to go through our CNC machine, everything was rough. As you can see from the finish now, it's all gone through our four-sided planer that you can hear humming in the background. Everything has been crisp, sharp edges. Um, anything that at that point needed to be graded out was taken out, but everything's been done. What's nice is that drying that we wanted to happen uh, just on the sticks, on our dunnage as we call it, all the surface checking has occurred. So the timber has dried evenly, it's stable, it's not gonna move anymore. What we wanted to do is all the drying to happen before we manufacture it. Some of these timber, you'll see the checking and the dryness, and, and we want that. It's dry and super tight grain. Marcus, being a builder, you know uh, some of the material you probably see in Colorado from the west coast, four or five growth rings an inch. We're probably pushing 30 growth rings an inch. Super tight, slow growth from the valley within an hour of our facility. So the last of your posts are being planed, going in in the rough form, coming out as first pass planing. They'll get planed again after to get all the marks and any dirt off. To brag a little bit, that's my wonderful son, Jeff, who loves being on videos and is ignoring me now. Kale. <laughs> We grade for a number one and better for your project. Most of this will grade select structural. Clear, no slope of grain, no spiral, hardly any knots, prime Douglas fir. Yeah, stick with me. What? What? <laughs> Hi guys! Joe, she's still talking about the wonderful trip. So after it's been planed, the famous CNC Hundiger machine. Matt is doing uh, some of the shorter plates or beams. Everything gets programmed up in our design group and gets fed down to uh, the computer on this equipment. If we come around here, you can see some of the notching. So it's been cut to length. And right now the Universal Mill's working on some of the timber. So although a lot of the joinery will be done by machine, there's still a lot of handwork. On the other side, you'll see the work where all the rough edges have to be taken out. We break and round all the edges. They'll still have to take um, rounded pockets have to be squared off by hand. Knife plates are here on rafters. All the drillings are done for dowels, but they'll clean up any of this. And after it comes off of here, it still gets planed one more time, which will finish it and we'll see that over there. So after second pass planing, planed once, CNC machine, then we clean it one more time. It's taken some of the rough edges off and it sized it right down to the exact size. So we've got some eight by 16, Again, that radial nice drying, but still structurally stable. Some of the big principal rafters, the bottom of the post, and what you'll see, Colorado, we have to grade stamp every piece. So we're one of the few companies that can grade stamp because we have our own sawmill. So you're gonna see the Canadian timber frame, um, number one, Douglas fir, and that shows that's what your inspectors are gonna wanna see on site that every piece, just like a dimensional two by four, is great stamped here. 
So we've got big beams, notches, posts, some of these rafters um, with the connections and steel, uh, steel plates are gonna go in here. A lot of the slots are done. Even the markings on top, Marcus, for the crew that's gonna be putting these up. This is the top of a beam, so it'll sit up. And when the guys are locating uh, rafters, we get the CNC machine to give a little mark that'll sit and house that five by eight or five by 10 rafter. Again, it's a locator, but just the cheater that lets everything span and get laid out properly. Some mortises, the top of a post with triple beams coming into it. This will sit up and beams will come in at different heights. And again, you'll see all of the joinery, all the slots, the mortises, the tenons, haunches, um, scarf joints. And again, everything grade stamp, meeting that number one and better. But honestly, 60% of this will end up, if we wanted to, we could grade select structural. All of this is gonna head over. Anything with the little pink uh, stick on it uh, means that it still has to have handwork. So somebody still has to get some of the hand tools uh, that we'll see over here and work through it. So again, more material ready to go over to the other side. Some big sticks here. 8 by 16s 8 by 20s but again, that nice radial drying. So even drying versus wood where it'll dry uh, if it's in the house it'll come out into the uh, into the inside of the house and not against the wall so you'll get these explosive checks in one side the wood's going to shrink radially evenly but if it checks in all these little spots it does a little bit everywhere and it just lets it be stable super strong super dry super stable Gets fun over here with the triple tint Java. All of this is also your wood. Looks amazing. Super rich, it has the clear coat on it. So this is where we'll lay out all the timber and those little pink indicator um, tabs that let people know they still have to work on it. These haven't been touched yet. But down here, they're sanding, working on corners, chiseling pockets. Marcus, you'll recognize these monsters, valley rafters, where you're gonna have your jack rafters come in. Again, it, the machine's great, but that finger mortiser still leaves a corner. So we've got to chisel out all the corners, clean all these up by hands, break the edges. There'll be a slight round over on all the timber. Again, and a triple check. We have computer drawings up of your project and uh, as well as hand drawings. So everybody rechecks and triple checks every component, every measurement, every pocket, and then a senior supervisor doesn't release it from uh, these horses to go to the next stage. The Moody with the 300% tint teak, surfaced four sides, meaning all planed, but it looks awesome, guys. The stain only material, it's a little bit dull, but once we get that clear coat on it, this is stain only. So it sort of has a chalky look to it. Um, once we get down to the end where they've pulled some off the horses, after it's got the ENS clear coat, it really brings out that shine. But it's amazing the, uh, how it brings up the grain. Almost this topographical effect of, of mapping on that grain surface when we slice through that timber. Again, complicated joinery here. We've got a post coming in, or a beam coming in here. This is a post. Another beam at this height. It's got a rafter, a principal rafter that's coming in here. So a lot of activity that's been done where these things dive in together. These are cool. Um, these, are, these are done uh, in Germany 
and they're an engineered connector, a pixel connector. So this is the male section. There'll be another piece on another timber. And what it does is it lets us um, distribute the weight of a timber in a little house joinery without taking as much out of the other piece. So it's a little bit of a hidden trick, but it helps us maintain the integrity of the overall timber. So final sanding, that handwork, uh, and then everything gets that clear coat after it's been stained. And this is your product, so super rich. These are these little ledgers that you guys work so hard as you sort of chase through the rooms and, and dealt with those areas, whether we had a beam or a ledger to capture a rafter, but super, super clean. Finished furniture grade, I like to say and it'll be packed and wrapped and weatherproof so it makes it all the way down um, to, to uh, Telluride. Those cool curved elements in those trusses, you can see this has been cut and then sanded and then there's that knife plate so it's one of those components in those trusses. Some of those exterior brackets that go on the house where this gets mounted, the beam comes out. We've got that cool uh, kicker or knee brace that'll come out, all prepped, all pre-drilled to fasten to the walls. But again, it's got that clear finish on it. So, super pretty. I'm sort of excited, guys. So, wanted to give you just an update we are busy on your project. We're gonna look after it for you and get it down to Joe, I think around March. Um, panels hit the floor in about a month. We're holding off on any of the stuff. We don't want it to sit outside. t and G's get it, has already ordered. We've got the color in. Um, walls, all the other materials are gonna be packed up. But I thought the timber would be a neat thing for you folks to see. So hope you enjoyed our visit. Hope to get to get down there and see you guys. Um, we're looking after the house and more importantly, appreciate, uh, really appreciate the opportunity guys. Jeff, thank you so much. And um, we'll look after you from here.